Hey everyone, this is Nofia here with Knights Templar. Uh, I'm going to be catching up on a war or two within the next few hours and try to catch up a little bit. I was in the process of moving and just recently got Wi-Fi back, so I'm going to try to catch up on these two that I have up top. But I unfortunately missed the Top Performers War, which kind of sucks because that was a good war. They're a good clan. They gave us some good competition. A lot of good battles in that one. I wish I could have gotten that one to you, but I'll start with this War Titans one to try to catch up a little bit. This was a very interesting war. We came into this one with three Town Hall 11s, seven Town Hall 10s, and one 9.5, and then the rest were Town Hall 9s. And as you can see, they didn't really do much, didn't attack much, came out pretty heavy early, and kind of ended from there. And a lot of good attacks on our end. Bunch of three stars from top to bottom, especially the bottom. So nice job to them. Um, one thing you'll notice is a lot of people attacked the four, and this was a interesting war. Uh, the four right here has 727,000 war loot, but when you look at their base, they're very, very low, like Town Hall 6 or 7 type, uh, Town Hall 11, but their home base does have the Eagle Artillery, Infernos, Crossbows all built, so for some reason, this person never built a war base since they are very low, and... There is a lot of war loot for that one, so once we kind of put this one in the bag, we started taking shots on that, so it was a nice war for loot-wise. But overall, they had a few Town Hall 11s up here at the top, and they had a lot of very rushed bases, some Town Hall 11s that were basically town, low Town Hall 10s, that type of stuff, low Town Hall 10s throughout the map, I think down to like 18 or 19 they had town hall tents with infernos but very rushed um so it was a good war for experience getting a lot of our nines to attack town hall tents with infernos and our town hall tents were able to take some shots on the eagle artilleries and stuff so for that reason we gotta have some good battles and show you a few of them that were a little bit better uh bases and attacks but don't have a ton to showcase for this one due to the rush of the basis. But first I'll I'll start out with Delray here on the on the five. Del starts this one out with a clean walk here on the left side. Clears out some of these buildings. Does have the single infernal lock on, so he Pops his queen's ability, gets her in, freezes the inferno, brings that down, starts working on the town hall, uses a jump to get the Valks into the core, starts tearing up the core, gets locked onto the eagle artillery with his queen and Valks, and that goes down. It's a successful queen walk, starts working in some hogs here on this left side, bring down some big defenses. And keep them coming around. Got the Valks in up top working one way. Hogs coming around on the single inferno kind of just overwhelm it. And plenty of Valks cleaning up. Queen still up. Full health. Five or six hogs. And kind of stomps this base in a hurry. So nice job to Dell on that one. Next I'm going to show you a little bit of a Truer Town Hall 9 attack here with Krista on the 28. Krista comes at this one with a 2 Golem Goho and drops the Golems here by the Queen side. Clears out these buildings on the outside. Throws in a couple of wall breakers in at that queen and puts in the heroes drops a jump spell starts the hogs over here on the left side going counterclockwise 
or clockwise, excuse me. Keeps them coming around with a few in at a time. Drops a poison on the skeleton traps. Nice of done. And has plenty of hogs left over for cleanup. Has a few wizards over here helping out. Probably have 15, 10 to 15 hogs up still. And tons of wizards, both heroes. So smash this base. So nice job, Krista. And the last one I'm going to show you on this war is the three concept uh, Town Hall 10 taking down uh, Eagle Artillery again and drop some minions up top to clear some of the trash buildings 3% calls in the queen to start the Clean walk out up there. Help speed it along a little bit with them minions. Drops in some giants, do some tanking. Wants the queen to go in towards that eagle artillery. Goal of this walk, I believe, is to take down that. And whatever else she can get before she goes down. Has a lot targeting her couple of archer towers expos but with the ability is able to get down that eagle artillery and from here it's a pretty low town hall 10 then so he drops in the golem on the right side with the barb king and a few wizards and calls in the valks gets a jump down rages up them valks on that Inferno Tower drops another jump, starts working in some hogs, going clockwise on this bottom right, takes down the next Inferno, and still has hogs coming around, mixing a few in on the back end. Got the Barb King down the bottom, hogs take out the rest of the defenses, and from here it's just clean up. So nice job concept getting a three star on uh, Town Hall 11. So yeah, it was a good war on our end. Um, not a very exciting one, but it's a nice experience for some of the bases, and we were able to get quite a bit of loot as a clan on that four. So that was nice at least. Uh, the next one's a. Uh, Pretty similar war. Unfortunately, I couldn't show a lot of battles from this one due to them being pretty weird bases and just kind of piecing together attacks that fit the lower Town Hall 10s and 11s. But hopefully, I could show you a couple of the better ones there and we can take a look at the next war next. Thanks for tuning in.